Hey YouTube, what's up? Slay Studios here. Today I'm going to be showing you how to get your Windows programs to run on your Mac. Let's get started. So the first thing you want to do is you want to open up your internet browser. In my case, the one I'm using is Safari. And we can go to google.com here. So you, what you want to search at Google is you want to search Play on Mac. Uh, I'll add a link in the description below if you just want to click on that. So, um, once you follow the link, it leads you to the download page, and you want to click here. So you want to click this, and it'll download this DMG file right here. Uh, it takes a little bit to download, and I'll get back to you once it's done. Okay. After the file is finished downloading, I've dragged mine onto the desktop. You'll get a file like this. It may be a different version once you see this video, but. Um, once it downloads, just open it up, and it'll go through the mounting process, and you'll see this window. Just go ahead and grab this and dra drag it to your Applications folder. Take a moment to copy. Now, after it's um, finished copying over, uh, you can go ahead and unmount the DMG file. It's no longer needed. And then you can go into um, go to where it installed, which should be in here, right here. And this program will take a moment when you first get it to open it up. And it'll pop up this little window asking if you if you want to open it, this window right here. Uh, you want to hit open. and here's the program now for people who have not already installed this program it won't look quite like this the screen will be blank and uh, it'll have a little install process um, installing different uh, fonts and other core things needed for this program to run and it'll install another program called Xcorts which is this program right here ah oh, crap the program right here uh, this program is the window manager for Play on Mac, and it'll um, it's just required for Play on Mac to run. You don't have to go download this. The installer will download it and install it for you. You just you basically hit next, and for Xcorts to install, you'll need the username and password of the administrator, just in case you don't have that for whatever reason. And now we'll get ready to install our first Windows program. So, now that you've had Play on Mac installed, we're going to install your first Windows program. You want to click at the Install button, and you can either click Install a non-listed program, or you can search for a different program up here. Um, we're going to install a non-listed program. Hit Next. Install Program on New Virtual Drive. Next. We can just name this Test. We can just skip this step. You can come back to that step later. And now we can browse for application to run. Um, if you, this will be the downloaded exe installer that you want to run. It'll probably be in downloads for you, but since I've already downloaded this program, it's over here. Open up here next and now it's going to run the installer I'll just fly through here real quick Hit close now it's going to ask to create a link and you just create the link that uh, the main program is called such as this is called bobbischess.exe I'll create a link for it we can just call it a and once you're done, you just click I don't want to make another shortcut, hit next, and now we can just run our program. And see, as you can see, our Windows program is now running. Um, if this video helped you, please leave a like and don't forget to comment and subscribe. Thanks for watching.